Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the KSF Stadium. This is Sri Kumar reporting to you. We come now to the Group B clash between Roots Football Club and AC Football Club, both from Bengaluru. And the situation is such that Roots must win to qualify, and AC need a draw to qualify. There's a lineup there for you on your screen of the. Roots Football Club team with the defenders, goalkeeper being Manikandan, the defenders Kiran Sarvanan, Aniket, Hari Krishnan, and Pawan, the midfielders being Vignesh, Dhanush, and Sachin Karan, and the forwards being Johan Victor and Aditya Mohan. They were opted for a 4 3 3 formation with the midfielder joining the attack. So that's how they position themselves on the field in red black and white there white stockings black shorts and red t-shirts are the roots football club and the ac football club in their black maroon and black attire will line up over there that's the lineup of the ac team there for you they were opted for a four five one formation with the goalkeeper being Arnab Das and the defenders Samananda, Mitai, Commandant Singh, as also Prem Kumar SK. In midfield, they have Shakti Gurang, Francis Zwan Tolunga, and Yogesh Kumar, along with Singham Vidya Sagar Singh. And up front, they have Elvin. Of course, they'll be joined by the other midfielders and the Wing back overlapping to support the attack, no doubt about that. But they line up in that formation. So they're looking smart there in their gold, black, and maroon attire there. The AST Center South, once upon a time, a very, very popular team here in Bangalore. They had, in fact, defeated the Indian 11 in the Stafford Cup Challenge Cup football tournament years ago. That was the time when players like Aziz. Shankaran Kuti, Munda, Jarua, all of them were in their ranks. The absolute crack combination. They somehow never entered the local leagues but always played the knockout tournaments. And in the Stafford Cup, they managed to defeat an Indian 11 at the Sri Kantirwa Stadium. It was a superb effort put in by them. And now they come back here once again to do something in the Stafford Challenge Cup here in 2023, of course. A completely new setup there, no doubt about that. And they need a draw. They defeated Gokulam Kerala by three goals to two, while Roots drew with Gokulam by one goal. So the Roots have one point and ASC Center three. All they need is a draw to advance to the semi finals by topping Group B. That's the situation here as the officials, An Anil Gulia, the main the chief referee, assisted on the lines by Sunil Kumar and Rishikesh. Rangarao Misale. Here they are awaiting the kickoff of the match. <coughs> there goes the whistle signaling the start of this very, very crucial Group B encounter in the Stafford Challenge Cup Football Tournament 2023. Roots keeping possession. Kiran Sarvanan, Vishal, Vignesh. All of them having represented Karnataka, Sachin Karnan, and the ASC team also have a set of good players in their ranks. Shakti Gurung, the midfielder, Mitai, Commandant Singh was also in the Karnataka team for the national games. So, a very, very keen and close encounter expected here at the Karnataka State Football Association Stadium. AC on the attack over there. The numbers very prominent, superbly done. Attire there by the AC Center team. Singham Vidya Sagar Singh 
the number 77 initiating a move down the left flank but getting a throw in there in the process <coughs> that Mitai with that throw pushing it down the flank over there yes on the attack but uh, hemmed in between two defenders there is the number eight 13 there for you Kamananda Singh ball put over the line and this time Roots getting this time Roots getting uh, thrown in Francis Zanun Tulunga initiating a move in the center but that clearance goes wild over the sideline for a throw into Roots Pawan with a back pass to his defense taken possession of there by Vishal back to Pawan And now Hari Krishna with that clearance, but only as far as the ASC defense. An attack down the right flank by Roots. This could be dangerous. But uh, the ASC's left wing back, Prem Kumar, who takes charge of the situation and denies an opening to the Roots club. So here it is the encounter, certainly holding up from the very, very start over here. ASC on the move here from the left dangerous but uh, it is the striker that's Alvin entering the edge of the penalty area and losing control finally as the ball goes over the line for a flat kick to the Roots football club the goal kick being taken by Manikandan Who's from Chennai, who is signed for Roots Football Club this season, doing duty for them. Samananda Singh on the far side there, the number 13 on your screen, pushing it down on the right flank to Shakti Gurung, back to Samananda. And now Sharat Kumar, back to Samananda again, probing for an opening. Sharat Kumar once again got away nicely there to dispossess Yogesh Kumar on the far side and yes he getting a throw in just near the corner flag on their right flank as you see on your screen ASC taking their own time to resume play and that throw in taken there by Samananda pushing it down onto Sharat Kumar you only testing it down the ball goes over the sideline for a throw and this time to Roots. Let's see how much Roots can do in a win, must win situation for them. A short early promise, no doubt, with Aditya Mohan advancing menacingly on the right, but is unable to get the better of the ASC defender. There is Prem Kumar who dispossessed him and prevented a center or a pass from being played on the right. Manikandan with that goalkeeper's goal kick right into the ASC territory headed back by the defense into the box for their own goalkeeper Arnab Das rolling it across to his topper. now on the left one touch play by ASC there again a series of passes a long pass on the far side this could be dangerous here at the top of the penalty box in comes the center but very well retrieved there by the defense with uh, Kiran Sarvanan coming up with a sliding save there to deny an opening in the center and puts the ball over his own goal line nevertheless giving away Another flag kick to the ASC center here from their left flank. In comes the flag kick. Nicely done, but Manikandan, the goalkeeper, comes out of his charge and punches it away out of the penalty box. 
But in comes another effort over there, but the tether goes backward and the flag goes up for offside as well. But uh, Yogesh Kumar palpably offside a good two meters or so inside the box when that lop, before the lop came in actually. And Roots getting a free kick from their own penalty box. Roots being coached by Srikant Rajan and Anthony Ramesh in charge of the ASC team as the chief coach. So an ASC. Tomorrow you would have very good. Free kick for Roots. I love it in the box there, but a very simple catch for Nab Das, as you see on your screen, in all yellow. Yellow and bluish attire there. The ASC custodian puts the ball over the line, throw into Roots, taken quickly by Pawan. On the attack there from the right, Aditya Mohan leaving it to Pawan once again, scratched away by ASC, building up an attack. Nice cross passing move over there. This could be dangerous once again on the right flank there, but uh, it is the Ever alert roots defenders to manage to avoid danger and clear the ball away. Yogesh Kumar advanced from the right there, but could get nothing of it. ASC appear to be in control of the game right now. The flag goes up there once again for Elvin as he was offside. Roots on the attack. In comes the center on the far side. But the goalkeeper, ever alert, rushes out, manning the penalty box with authority over there. Arnab Das makes the collection. No question of anything for Roots over there. Mitai, the number 26 on your screen, the left wing back for ASC center. Tries to work the ball off for Alvin, doesn't succeed. Nevertheless, snatched away by Roots. A nice through pass. This time, but again, the flag goes up for the forward Aditya Mohan over there in a hurry to dash into the box. Aditya Mohan again falling offside over there. So, another free kick to ASC center from inside their own territory on the left flank. ASC understandably playing with a lot of cool and calm, in no hurry to get the proceedings going. Roots on the other end, ever eager to commence play at every possible opportunity. They must win. All ASC need is a draw, but if they are going to play for a draw, they could be in for trouble because a goal could come any time in football. <laughs> Here comes the center into the box. And that was a nice attempt by Alvin. As the center came in from the number 10, Shakti Gurung, into the box from the left, but Alvin only managed to put the ball over the line. Good attempt, no doubt.
AOC also appear to be a lot more fit up foul there and AOC getting a free kick from the left flank with the number 22 Sachin Karnan being pulled up for a foul on Shakti Gurang. It's going to be Francis Zunun Tulanga at the ball. We also find Litai, I think that is. And in comes the cutting right footer over there, but on the far side, it tended for the number 10, Shakti Gurang, who moves over on the far side for the header, but uh, not making anything of it there. Yogesh Kumar, the one who attempted it, also along with Shakti Gurang, not able to get anything out of it. The number 70, rather, Prem Kumar, were advanced, not the number 10. This time, Ruth getting a free kick from inside the ruined territory on their left flank. Roots. Pushing the ball there, but this time the pass going straight at the foot of Mitai. Miscues his clearance over there, but it is the stopper. Yogesh Kumar, there to back it up. Once again, nice piece of interception over there. Danger reverted, ASC on the move yet again. Nice cross field pass once again. Through into the box, but uh, Alvin unable to show the required pace to get to it. The ball rolls into the grasp of the goalkeeper, Mani Kandan. That could have been suicidal over there as the tackle from Alvin ricocheted off to the other stopper, Kiran Sarvanan. Not Alvin would have been presented with an easy opportunity to score, but that did not happen luckily for Roots Football Club. Aniket, number 15 on your screen, the ball there on the far side, tries to work up a move, doesn't succeed, foul there, the whistle blows and Roots getting a uh, free kick from just near, near the center line in, inside the ASC territory on the left flank. ASC looking pretty strong and confident over here. Ruth have a chance over here on the right flank, but then there the poor scoop pass picked up by the ASC defenders. But the danger not in our turn, but this time. It is the number 10, Shakti Gurang, who backs up. Mitai with that clearance there. Meant for Alvin, but only as far as Kiran Sarvanad. A 
a long pass once again and the goalkeeper in two minds whether to clear allow it to go into the box and hold it manages to just tap it in front for the stopper prem kumar commandant singh stopper well in command of the situation right now for up to now and let's see how much he can do to help his team go through the top group b and qualify for the semi finals there's three teams in this group gokulam kerala not doing what is expected of them playing out a draw with uh, roots and then losing by three goals to two to asc center long ball right in the middle of the ground but straight to the goalkeeper into the penalty box and arnab das with that clearance asc attacking down the right flank this time but again the ball in the hands of arnab's counterpart in the roots ball club goal that is manikandan one on towards hari krishnan hari krishnan pushing it to his goalkeeper manikandan manikandan on the far side to kiran sarvanan roots having the ball inside their own territory snatched away there by the asc players and the free kick given asc not quite happy with the award though that foul on vishal being pulled up it was accidental they seem to suggest but the referee thinks otherwise the flag goes up for an offside ruling there on the far side of the field as the roots try to play the ball as quickly as possible Rekik, but hard and long. And the flag goes up there for pushing, and the whistle blows as well. So the ASC center getting a free kick from just outside the penalty box on the right flank, a couple of yards away, but. almost between the touch line and the 18 yard line marking the penalty area as you see there on your screen and let's see what they can do with this one roots lining up a three man wall with at least about 1 2 3 4 4 as the players inside the box in comes the color and has been tipped away over the goal line by the goalkeeper manikandan as he gives away a flat kick he had no other alternative but to do that let's see what asc can do with this flat kick in it comes struck long there for mitai rada commandant singh but uh, commandant only come, coming up with a back pass finally cleared away by the roots defenders as they launch a counter once again aditya mohan trying to sprint past on the right flank but put away over the line for a throw in taken quickly by pawan on to sachin sachin karnan 
is possessed there. Sharat Kumar of ASC, pushing it down towards Commandant Singh, his right stopper. And captain as well. Roots working the ball up inside their own territory. On the right, Pawan with a back pass to Kiran Sarvanan. Hare Krishna, rather. Hare Krishna comes up with a lob which sails over the touchline for a throw in. Mitai with a throw in. But. Uh, Shakti Gurung unable to beat the tackle of the midfielder there. That's uh, Sachin Karnan and the ball passed back to the goalkeeper. Kiran Sarvanan there at the top of the box with that ball, the stopper. Pushing it back to Mani Kandan, his captain and goalkeeper. This time on the far side to Hare Krishna. Roots seeing more of the ball this time. A long lob intended for Aditya Mohan on the far side. This could be dangerous there. But Commandant Singh takes control. But it is a nice chance over here for Roots. But and that's a lovely save over there by Commandant Singh. I think that is as the goalkeeper was beaten over there. But a superb save there. Preventing entry almost on the line there is Prem Kumar. So Roots coming very, very close to taking the lead, but that wasn't to be as the defender did everything he could to save the situation for his team. The corner being cleared away. We are in the 25th minute of the first half. The scoreboard still remaining blank. ASC Centre. Nil. Roots Football Club. Nil. As I mentioned to you earlier, Roots need only a draw. Roots need a win to qualify, while ASC, I beg your pardon, need only a draw. They have three points. Roots have one point. If Roots win, they go up to four. ASC will remain on three. And if ASC win, they go up to six. So there's no question of anyone coming anywhere near their qualification. As the game resumes, on the far side, Pawan, but uh, that forward pass intended for the number 12, Vignesh. And it is the ASC midfielder, Sharath Kumar, who is pulled up for a foul on Vignesh. And Roots get a free kick. Vignesh again, coming up with a long lob, but Commandant Singh ever alert over there. Finally cleared up by Mitai, up to the center circle. And ASC now, with a nice move there, but yes, they still have it. Around over there, with their Sagar Singh. On the far side towards the right, Yogesh Kumar tries to come up with a long range shot but only into the defense. Cleared away eventually. A player lying in jail on the field, coming right into the path of that shot there from Yogesh Kumar. 
and Kiran Saranan, I think that is, as the game held up briefly, as the medical attendant rushed up to attend to him. The scoreline still remaining nil nil. We are in the 27th minute of the match. All's well with Kiran as he spins out of the pitch to receive further treatment. And the ball being given to the Rhodes team as they had it with them when play was stopped by the referee to attend to the injured player. And they give it back to their opponents. And that's fair play. And lacing together an ambitious shot over there is Vignesh, but uh, can't trouble Arnab Das in any way as he makes the collection and throws it back on the far side of the field. Vignesh in the thick of things over there pushes it back to his goalkeeper from outside the penalty box as you see it. But this has been given away. This could be dangerous. Yes, it is. A nice pass into the box there. But once again, into the defense. But ASC still have the ball with them. With their Sagar Singh, the number 77 on your screen. Pushes it back on the far side in the center. But that is wasted there by Sharad Kumar. And the danger averted. The ball comes to Commandant Singh, the number 29 on your screen. Coming up with a long pass intended on the left flank there for... Vidyar Sagar Singh again, but Vidyar Sagar loses out. Mithai comes up to back up. Mithai with the ball. Back to Vidyar Sagar. Coming up with a center into the box. Father tapped in, but get away by the defense. And a lovely shot this time there by the number 15 for ASC Francis. Zanun Tulanga. And the ball just sails harmlessly over the crossbar. And at the end of... Uh, 29 minutes in the 30th minute, the referee asking the players to take a liquid break as the players two part onto the sidelines to their respective technical areas to refresh themselves. The referee also coming to have a sip of water and we'll be back with you once the players are back in position. Players are back in their positions as the game resumes with that goal kick by Manikandan for Roots. Here he is changing flanks. 
This time pushing it down on the right to Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna is a long ship cut away there by Commandant Singh. Francis. And still. The lob into the box. Oh yeah, it could be dangerous. But then the AC strikers unable to get to that cross there from Vidya Sagar Singh. Long ball on the far side towards the right. Roots on the attack. But once again, Commandant Singh comes in the way and comes up with a very, very smart and quick clearance, sending the ball bounding away on the far side of the uh, pitch for a throw into the Roots Football Club. Aditya Mohan, who threatened the AFC goal briefly before Commandant Singh saved the situation for them. Certainly. Both the teams not giving an inch to the other. Aditya Mohan and Vijay Sagar in a duel for the ball over there, but it is Aditya Mohan who's pulled up for a foul there on Vijay Sagar and ASC getting a free kick from inside their own territory on their left flank. The free kick taken quickly there by Prem Kumar gives it to Commandant Singh on the far side and now Sharad Kumar falling back in defense. Francis but losing out over there, getting it back although but once again the tackle there from Ignesh. Putting Sachin Karnan in possession on the far side over here is uh, Pawan. Pawan to end. A lovely through ball over there by Vignesh. On towards Aditya Mohan. The number 68 comes up with a cross into the penalty box, but a very, very weak cross all along the ground. There's no roots attacker there, and three ASC players getting onto it. Finally, cleared away. Mitai in possession now, in his own territory, comes up with the right foot of clearance, as you see, and this time beaten there by the bounce, but before Olwen could do anything, ball played back to the goalkeeper by Kiran Sarvanan. Commandant Singh with the header, taken care of by Aditya Mohan, and now Sachin Karnan. On to Hare Krishna, plays it safely back to Mani Kandan. Kiran Sarvanan. Vignesh. Pavan. Roots keeping the ball with themselves. With good passes. Return pass and intended lob on the far side. Not materializing over there. The ball back in the roots half. Kiran Sarvanan rolling it across to Hare Krishna. Surveying the field, finds Pavan unmarked on the right. Gets it back from him. Manikandan. And now Kiran Sarvanan. On the far side. Johan Victor loses out. ASC on the attack. It goes. That placement there from the number 77, Vidya Sagar Singh on the run, but just over the, over the crossbar, in fact, well over the crossbar, in fact. No damage done, the scoreline still remaining blank. 35 minutes having gone in the first half, the scoreboard still remaining blank. ASC Centre, nil. Roots Football Academy, Football Club, nil. Roots now indulging in a bar of passes, intercepted there by ASC, but ASC's midfielder, that is Samananda, comes up with a pass into no man's land, but cut away nicely there by Vidya Sagar Singh, 
Now on to uh, Shakti Gurung, back to Vidya Sagar, and now Mitai on to Commandant Singh at the back. Commandant Singh pushes it down on the right to Sharat Kumar. And now Alvin at the top of the box, hoping for a lob, but doesn't get it. Francis, he has seen possession of the ball. Francis is rolling it across towards Mitai, Vidya Sagar. Back to Mithai again. The number 26 on your screen over there. Rolled back by Vidya Sagar on to Commandant Singh, his captain. Commandant Singh commanding his boys very well. A lovely through pass there on the far side, but then it's a bit long and deep for the forward. That's Yogesh Kumar to get to it and the goal kick to Roots Football Club. A long pass intended for Aditya Mohan, but the ball goes over the line for a throw in. Taken quickly by Mitai, gives it to Commandant Singh. And now, Sharat Kumar. Francis to Commandant Singh. Swipes it wide for Mitai on the left. Mitai surveying the field, coming up with a long pass, but straight to Kiran Sarvanan. Clear away. AC on the attack once again. Francis. Shakti on the far side to Alvin at the top of the box. Alvin still with the ball. In a tussle with the defense over there, and the flag goes up for a foul by Alvin, and Roots get a free kick. Taken there by Kiran Sarvanan to his goalkeeper Mani Kandan, and now on the far side towards Hare Krishnan, Adit Pawanes. Hare Krishnan again, the number 32 on your screen, coming up with a lob. But Mitai comes up with hefty clearance, sending it towards Francis. Yogesh Kumar pushing it back to Francis again. Francis switching flanks this time, but intended pass to Vidya Sagar doesn't materialize. Roots getting control. Pawan with a long pass there, but in no man's land as the ball goes right into the AC penalty box for the goalkeeper. Arnab Das to Collect. Rolls it along on the far side. Towards Prem Kumar. Now Alvin. But stopped in his tracks there is Yogesh Kumar by Kiran Sarvanan. Switching attacks this time. Roots. Pawan. Nice move down the right, putting Aditya Mohan in possession. Aditya Mohan showing good bit of skill there. Advancing very fast into the penalty box. This could be dangerous. Comes up with a pass there, but only into Commandant Singh and wasting all the effort and energy that he put in to get so far. Francis, ASC on the counter. Vidya Sagar. And now Francis again. Switching flanks to the overlapping Prem Kumar, but Prem Kumar loses it out to Vignesh, the Roots midfielder, to Danush. Aniket, now Kiran Sarunan, back to Hari Krishnan, deep inside their own territory. Pavan, the number 72 on your screen. Back to Hare Krishnan. Putting Kiran Saran in possession in the center. Kiran pushing it down to Vignesh. Nice piece of dribble over there. All along on the far side towards uh, Aditya Mohan. And once again, the offside flag goes up. 
41 minutes having gone in the first half. No goals so far. Except for the occasion, the only occasion where Roots came close to scoring. There has been no other opportunity for either team to score. ASC looking confident in defense and midfield, but not making much of an impression up front. Alwyn there with the ball, but put over the line for a throw in by Pawan. And ASC getting a throw in just near the corner flag on their left flank. Mitai picking up the ball there to take that throw in. Plays a shot towards Vidya Sagar, gets it back from him. Pushes down on the far side towards Shakti Gurung, but the flag goes up for offside and all the effort wasted over there. Alvin working his way deeper into the box, but now Vidya Sagar and now Francis throws it across on the far side towards Sharat Kumar. A nice center there by Samananda Singh with the ball hitting Kiran Saranan, I think, and going over the goal line for a flat kick to the AC center. Yogesh Kumar going up to take that flag kick and let's see what time moments of the first half regulation time of the first half Vidya Sagar now going up also close to the flag over there are they going to play it short are they going to play it long remains to be seen yes the ball is being placed there by Pingnam Vidya Sagar Singh. In comes the left footed color right up to the box. Oh, Francis with the header. But the ball just glides, glances his head and goes over the goal line for a goal kick to the Roots Football Club. ASC on the attack once again and the intended center from Yogesh Kumar striking Sachin Karnan and going over the line for yet another flag kick this time from the ASC left flank and let's see what the army outfit can do to take advantage of this award there for them and this time it's going to be Yogesh Kumar I think is going to take that flag kick and let's see what he can do I can see one, two, three, four, five golden black shirts inside the penalty box. For that flag kick, one waiting outside. In the case of Ultimately, it came to nothing with a feeble attempt by Francis landing in the hands of Manikandan. This time, Hari Krishnan with the ball rolls it towards Pawan. The number 72 on your screen, back to Hari Krishnan. Chipping it over there, but the header by Mitai. By Shakti Gurung, in fact, going over the line for a Throw into the Roots Football Club. We're into added on time of the first half. Commandant Singh with the ball. A 
nice lob towards the area, but then headed away by Hare Krishnan for a throw in to ASC. Mitai coming up to take that throw in. Pushes it back to his captain, Commandant Singh, coming up with a left wrist shot over there, but there's no ASC player around to take advantage. The final clearance coming in with Samananda Singh, the right wing back, doing a lot of overlapping over there. The number 13 there on your screen, time ticking away. To both the teams, Francis to Samananda. The header coming back to him. This time comes up with a nice pass down the right flank. Let's see what ASC can do. They're on the attack. Up comes the left footer, Francis, right in the center of the field, but Francis is chipped. He's being tackled there by Kiran Sarvanan and Hari Krishnan backing up. In comes the center from Yogesh Kumar, but headed away once again. Only as far as Francis. Sarat Kumar losing out over there, but it is the number 70, Prem Kumar, in charge of the attack over there on the right flank, rolls it across on the far side. Back to Prem Kumar. Still with Prem Kumar, trying to work his way to the box over here. Still Prem Kumar, but uh, tackled this time there by Vignesh, who takes charge of the proceedings, controls the situation. And a foul there by, I think, Samananda Singh. On Johan Victor Vito and Roots getting a free kick. And there goes the whistle signaling the end of the first 45 minutes of this Group B battle between Roots Football Club and ASC Center. The scoreline remaining blank. ASC Center nil. Roots Football Club nil. And as I said, Roots must win to qualify. ASC get a draw to qualify. So after the end of the first session, ASC almost have half a foot in the race for qualification in the door.
Welcome back to the KSFA Stadium and the second half between Roots Football Club and ASC Centre about to begin in a couple of minutes and the scoreline as you know is yet blank and in the meanwhile we have a very very distinguished footballer in the midst of us in the commentary box Lewis Nixon welcome to the commentary box Lewis you have played a lot of football in Bangalore yourself you are, might have played in this tournament also what do you think of the revival of the Stafford Challenge Cup after 33 years we are witnessing the Stafford Challenge Cup it is a pleasure to watch the new teams and the old teams like uh, MEG and AAC are playing in this tournament and uh, a few of the newcomers like uh, Roots and other part of the academy teams are there uh, we are wish to we are pleasure to watch this game over here how much do you think is going to contribute to football being restored to its old glory? It is a huge glory to the, to the sport, not only in, uh, in Bangalore, and apart from other states also, the, it, from Goa and uh, uh, Delhi and other states also come here to play. So they also have been explored and get a top level to play in football in Bangalore. Hello. What are your memories of the Stafford Cup previously? My memories are from when I was very small, I was a ball, ball boy in this ground. Then I played my professional, I was at Mumbai Sporting, we won the champion this 91 and 93 again I came here and we lost in the semi-finals against ITA. That was my old memories in, in Bangalore with the Stafford Challenge Cup. So you were in the team with the Mumbai Sporting when they defeated HL in the final at the Kandira Stadium? Yes sir, yes sir. Now what do you think is the main difference between football at that time and football that you see now? It's vast, vast different. There's a lot of changes. First, we have to talk about the pitch. The pitch is different. We now they are playing in the turf. When we were playing the grass, the turf and the grass is, is, is vast different because grass you can do anything, any skills. In turf you can't do anything. And it is so hot also, you know, water level has to be here. And yeah, etc, etc. But still, we, can, we are witnessing a good matches in the stadium. But then you have the advantage of the artificial surface being level at all places. Yes, yes. It's like Unlike water. the grass? Yes, yes, it's like that. With the artificial is damn difficult to perform whatever the skills you have to do it. What do you think of the teams here now? Who do you think impressed you the most? The, the young lads, the uh, Roots, Roots, they are doing pretty well. But uh, yeah, AC is a cop team. They have been training for a whole year. <laughs> they are having it a good shape. And they are physically, mentally, they are very fit. Uh, they are playing. Let's see if we can go. Let's see, then I, another 45 minutes, we'll see what will happen, sir. No, I'm not talking about only this match, I'm talking about the overall picture of the teams, all the teams in the fray over here. Who, you, who were you impressed the most by? Yeah, I impressed the uh, Srinidhi and uh, the Chennai, and, uh, also they're playing well, like Bangalore United is really playing well. Um, BFC also, our local lads are playing pretty well. But overall, it's okay, this, this, this is an hard time, we are keeping this tournament. Because I don't understand this tournament is supposed to happen as soon as after the league or something. But after the break, the people have gone here and there, left, right and centre because of the second window. The people have gone for second division and only you can have a true transfer in the window. So people have been gone here and there. That's what I, I feel. According to you, who do you think might win the tournament? Uh, we can't predict, but uh, I think so. There's a lot of chance for... Uh, Bangalore United and that side, I think if Sri Nidhi comes, they have got a lot of chance to wrap up, wrap up the trophy, sir. You are also coaching the BFC youth team even now? No, no sir, I am part of FC Deccan, I was there and this, now this tournament I never working with them, I just taking a break. Oh, you are with FC Deccan now? Yes, yes, I was there but I am not doing anything with them. Oh, you are not with them anymore? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes. Thanks a lot, Lewis, uh, Lewis, for having joined us in this commentary box briefly as the game gets underway. We'll catch up with you once again sometime later. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure talking to you. Thank you. <coughs> as the second half gets underway over here, Roots attacking from right to left on your screen in red and white, red, white and black, rather, and ASC attacking from left to right in gold, black and maroon. The scoreboard, as I informed you earlier, still remains blank.
ASC with the ball at the moment, but snatched away this time by Danush. But uh, a forward pass intended for Vishal going a begging over there, right into the ASC box, and the goalkeeper comes up to take control of the situation. And now Pass doing a good job for his team, manning the 18 yard box very, very well and ensuring that there is no trouble for him whether the defense is there or up, is beaten he has been doing his job superbly ASC with the ball but it is Vijay Sagar Singh who loses out on the attack there Aditya comes up with a nice shot over there but once again straight to the goalkeeper who judges it very well and Takes it on the first bounce, controls it, takes charge, rolls it along for his stopper, command and sing. On the far side of the pitch, two unmarked players over here. Yogesh Kumar and Savananda. Savananda with the ball. On the far side there, Yogesh overlapping. Tries to work his way down, but the ball hits. Yogesh and goes over the line, goal kick to the Roots Football Club. <coughs> Roots trying to build up an attack on the left. Aditya Mohan coming up from the right to the left wing. ASC this time trying to work up a move there, but then that passed far too deep and passed for the confer of the overlapping Sharath Kumar as it is Shakti Gurang who lays it across on the far side. Goal kick Roots. Aditya Mohan, but uh, there is a whistle over there asking the throw, I think, to be retaken. Kamananda that throw but again put over the line there <clears throat> by Kiran Saranan as he tries to block Olven Samananda the number 13 there on your screen going up to take the throw in on the far side as you can see to your right into the box and that one intended center from Elvin going off the foot of Vignesh, I think that is, yes. And a corner kick for the ASC center. Let's see what ASC can do with this one. It's going to be Yogesh once again. Vijay Sagar, in fact, comes up with a left-footed shot, but headed away out of the penalty box by Vignesh. Giving away throw into ASC from the right flank. It's going to be Samananda again to take that throw in. Pushes, pushes it down the right flank for Alwyn again. And Alwyn comes up with a clearance. Again hitting the foot of Kiran and going over the line. The third throw in in a row for the army outfit. And it's going to be Samananda Singh once again walking up leisurely to pick up the ball for that throw in. And he comes. Long throw this time into the box. But uh, can't get the better of that defense over there. Comes back to him off the head of his colleague. The number five is one Robinson Singh who's coming in the second half.
the ball goes over the line and another throw into the ASC team. Samananda again. But can't find a colleague over there and the ball comes off Francis to him. Gets it back but Francis again intercepts that one but losing out there Francis. Roads in control but once again ASC regain possession. <laughs> and that harmless Yogesh Kumar lob goes sailing wide of the crossbar and Roots get a gifted goal. Can this could be dangerous? Interception there by Yogesh. Comes up with a shot once again. A very, very wavered shot inside the penalty box over there. And it was Kiran Sarvanan who gave the ball away. And Yogesh Kumar intercepting it was all alone in front inside the small box but only banged his right to the wide of the left to right. Lucky escape for Roots. ASC on the attack, on the right, Yogesh Kumar, the number 44 on your screen, comes up with a long centre there, but a nice interception there by Aniket, the ball hitting Aniket and going over the line and ASC getting another flag kick from the right. With the Sagar Singh again coming up with the left footed flat kick but cleared away once again at the expense of a throw in. ASC making another substitution here. Yogesh Kumar who missed that sitter being pulled out and is going to be Sumananda Singh this time on the pitch. The referee asking Samananda Singh to hurry up proceedings and not delay taking his throw in. Nice bit of work over there. Samananda comes up with the lob once again, the substitute. Samananda, and it's a goal! Yes, it is! A nice lob there by Samananda. And Samananda, who just came in, his first touch, producing a goal for ASC. The replay of that. There it is. A nice deep lob and that left footer delicately being placed in to the goal. So after 54 minutes, ASC finally lend numerical evidence to their superiority till now. Roots have a job on hand. They will now need to score at least two to get back any chance of having to qualify. Foul there on Sovananda by Kiran Sarvanan and the referee very quick to spot it, very close on hand over there and a free kick to ASC centre just outside the penalty box. And let's see what ASC can do with this one. The AC coach, Anthony Ramesh, making a quick decision to pull back. Yogesh Kumar missed a sitter 
and his decision proving to be very very right as the one who whom he sent in Sumananda scoring with his very first touch after he came on to the field that free kick taken there by Francis into the ball the ball comes up once again a long attempt coming to not at the foot of Danush the ball going over the line for another throw in to ASC Samananda taking that throw in gets it back from his name the substitute Robinson Singh but Robinson Singh pushes it down once again to Francis with the ball in the center of the field Francis relaying it back to his stopper and captain commandant Singh commandant trying to lob the ball there for Sovananda but is unable to get it at his foot and the ball has been cleared away once again by Hari Krishnan and now Sachin Karnan pushing it wide but taking control of there by Alvin lobs it into the box once again by Sovananda but in comes Kiran Sarvanan takes control pushes it down on the the center of the field for Danush Danush to Vignesh back to him but losing out there towards Alvin ASC on the attack from the right Alvin and still the number eight loses out there in trying to center now Aditya Mohan and this tap pass on the far side going over the line there and Vishal not able to keep control a throw in once again to ASC from their right flank with Samananda Singh the number 13 on your screen ready to take the throw in comes the center after he receives it back from Alvin but the Roots defense clearing it away foul there free kick taken quickly Vignesh with the ball on the right flank Roots on the move Vignesh Danush and then that long deep pass right into the ASC penalty box and straight to the goalkeeper Arnab Das so picks it up and prepares for his goalkeeper's clearance up was the flag for Vishal as he was in an offside position in fact he was walking in from there as the pass came in free kick ASC Prem Kumar not quite controlling that chip goes over the line on the far side Mog also being brought in by Roots. Sachin. A mog coming up to the center there, but then plays it without any control and straight to the goalkeeper and now Das who finds Alvin unmarked on the right and puts him in possession still Alvin now Somananda pushes it down on the right to a Chakti Gurang but Gurang loses control of the ball and it rolls over the goal line for a goal kick 
Roots somehow finding the ASC defense tough nuts to crack. Good approach work, a lot of intricate passing bouts, but then coming to not at the top of the defense. The ASC defender also playing quite a high line over there. Not giving much space for the forwards to move in. Aditya Mohan looks like he's got a lot of cramps over there. Yes, as he limps up on the touchline. Another mistake over there, but luckily for Hare Krishnan, he was able to retrieve the ball over there, telling a dummy to Somananda. Sachin Karnan on the far side towards Hare Krishnan. Pushes it back to him. Hare Krishnan with a long lob. Dead on the right for Vishal, who takes control, uses it to substitute Amog. Amog with the ball there, back to Vishal once again. Vishal comes up with a lob into the box there, but cleared away nicely by Samananda. And now Francis takes control of the situation with a turn of his foot, pushes it down towards Commandant Singh, but Commandant trying to find Samananda there with a long pass, loses it to the Roots defense. Vignesh and another nice lob over there on the far side to Amog. Still Amog comes up with the center to the box there, but then again the alert ASC defense not allowing them much liberties into the box once again. But a very, very feeble attempt there by Danush, almost going three bounces into his grip. Of course, <coughs> Roots certainly a little more in the attacking picture than they were before. And ASC somehow falling back on defense. Nice through ball and Arnab Ghosh comes up with an interception there, but the ball hits his Vignation rolls over for a goal kick and it is going to be Shashwat replacing the injured Aditya Mohan. Lipped on the sidelines with a full muscle, and he got the ball. The biggest problem with most of the teams in India is that they run more than they make the ball run, and the process train themselves a lot more than they should be doing. Another nice through pass and Arnav Ghosh comes up with this clearance with the ball lobbing at the top of the penalty box itself but you have Vidya Sagar Singh in control of the situation, close it towards Francis near the half line, still Francis but Francis loses control. Roots on the attack once again. Vignesh. And here comes Danush, but a lovely through pass. Return back towards Vignesh, but played a little hard. And Vignesh unable to get to it. Arnab Das comes in to take control. Kiran Saranan across the box over there, Hare Krishna. And now Ignesh 
बैक टू हरी कृष्ण लूजिंग आर देर रूट्स समानंदा Elvin working his way past two players can't beat the third though the ball running in favor of the AC team over there Kathigurung and now Elvin nice center but then it is cleared away with great difficulty from inside the small box Alvin on the right again pushes it down for Shakti yet again deeper down the flank and Shakti comes up with a nice center there but the tackle is coming from Kiran Sarvanan and the ball goes over the goal line for a flat kick to the AFC center it's going to be Singnam Bitya Sagar Singh once again to take the flat kick calling the ball with his left foot and let's see what he can do with this award there on your screen about 6 yes the players in the box as you see it very crowded penalty box clear away but the ball comes back to But the Sagar who comes up with a weak center, sending it straight to the goalkeeper, Manikandan. flag goes up
is virtually rolling the penalty box. But BFC uh, Roots, I beg your pardon, not making any impression on the defense of the goalkeeper. Francis, that pass. Amog failing to intercept that ball. Watching it sail along on the far side. And a nice tackle over there by Hari Haran. Hari Krishnan, once again, I beg your pardon. <clears throat> Let's see what Amok can do with this one. As the race is done on the, on the far side. And has been brought down there by the ASC defender. That Talat Kumar and a free kick to ASC center. The roots. Players coming up to have a word with the referee. The referee having a word with Francis. And Ignesh, I think, asking them, them to cool down. If not, he will be forced to put his hand in his pocket and pick out the cards, yellow or red, depending on the nature of the offense. <clears throat> cards are given in football on the nature of the offense and not on the extent of injury. The wrong notion among many to think that the cards are given because the player is seriously injured. No. The card is given only because of the nature of the offense. And that header there from Hari Krishnan just going wide of the right upright. Seventy-seven minutes having gone in the game so far. And the referee Signaling for a liquid break, a water break, or hydration break, whatever you call it, as they come down to their respective dugouts to refresh themselves. The referee also coming up to have a sip of water. The game held up briefly over here, and I'll get back to you once the players are back in position. As the players get back into positions, the Roots Football Club making a substitution, bringing in Jonathan Franco to replace Sachin Karnan in midfield. And let's see what Franco can do to turn the fortunes of his team here in the remaining 10 minutes or so plus added on time. And I think there should be at least five considering the number of stoppages in the second half possibly even more here comes the goal kick from Arnab Das, the goalkeeper Hare Krishnan coming up with a long deep lob there for Amol on the, for, on the far side but it takes control and this could be dangerous over here but it is very well intercepted there by Vidya Sagar Singh 
who comes to the rescue of his team over there. Somananda. Deep down the flank on the right side towards Chakti Gurung. And Chakti Gurung loses control of the ball and puts it over the goal line for a goal kick. Now the ASC player lying injured on the ground over there on the far side of the field requiring medical attention. The game held up briefly. When it comes to injuries you can never say it's always prudent to attend, attend to the injured player as quickly as possible. As the game restarts, a long lob into the penalty area by Shashwat, but once again, Arnab Ghosh is not to be bothered at all. Comes up with a neat clearance after intercepting that lob. That was a very, very big back pass there by Samananda to his goalkeeper, who also came up with a miscued clearance. The ball lobbing backwards and going over his own goal line. Lucky for him, Franco did not get to it. Shashwat with that flat kick. High, long left footer headed over the goal line there by Danush and ASC get a goal kick. That is quite a close call for the ASC center. Amor once again working his way up on the far side over there, but tackled very well by Commandant Singh, who stops him in his tracks and puts the ball over the line for a throw in to Roots. Roots now changing flanks. Vignesh with the ball, the number 12. Trying to find, and the offside flag goes up over there. For Franco and Free kick to the ASC center from inside their own box, just outside the box, in fact, on the left flank. And now Das being booked for time wasting tactics over there. Long clearance from Kiran Sarvanan on towards Shashwat. Comes up with a nice pass towards Franco at the top of the box over there, but it is an absolutely superb clearance coming up there from the AC midfielder. That is uh, Mitai, who's lying injured there inside the box. Nevertheless.
85 minutes have gone in the game so far. Five minutes of added on time remaining over here. And Roots certainly have a very, very difficult task ahead of them in the remaining time. Of course, five minutes plus another four or five sufficient for a goal or two, but then the AAC defense and the goalkeeper holding on, the pressure telling on them, and they almost considered a goal, but luckily for them, nothing like that happened. And a yellow card there for the substitute Franco for the foul there on the defender. Rather late to react there, the referee. Looks like he's given the foul on the extent of injury or something like that, but if he had to be booked, he should have done that immediately. Not after such a long time, that's what I think. As Anaptas restarts the game with that free kick on towards Prem Kumar, but the clearance goes towards the left. Alwyn with the ball there. It's still Alwyn pushing it back to Mitai, and Mitai's clearance goes off the foot of Amok for a throw into AST. We come to the concluding stages of the regulation time of the second half. In the meantime, Roots have also brought in Gabriel George Savage. Joshua on towards Savage. Danush back to Kiran Sarvanan. And now Vishal on the far side, Amog. Still Amog, working his way in the center. And still, nice interception there from Vignesh. But Vignesh was way into the box there. But only managed to place his right foot out wide of the left of right. Well placed to score, but wasting the opportunity. AC. Making a substitution, bringing in Sabir Khan in place of the injured Commandant Singh, I think that is, who is limping off. In the last minute of regulation time, Roots missing golden chance to pull one back. Francis with a nice interception for ASC coming up with a long lob for Somananda, the number 11, the goal scorer, and still Somananda comes up with a long square pass on the far side. Prem Kumar coming up with a nice left footed shot over there, but straight to the goalkeeper. 
money condom to collect and put Hare Krishna in possession, Hare Krishna a long pass to Vignesh, but Vignesh unable to control the ball puts it over the line for a goal kick to the ASC center. Regulation time is up. ASC on the attack. This could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. But that shot there from Shakti Gurang, very weak and wavered. Another ASC player lying in jet there on the turf, requiring attention. The game held up briefly. The referee asked him for the stretcher to be put on so that there is no time wasting tactics over here. As the game restarts, Vignesh with the ball there, initiating a move for Roots. Clear the way. Shakti Gurung once again, but losing out there. Amok with the ball on the left flank for Roots, comes up with the center into the box. Clear it away nicely. By Sabir Khan, the substitute, only as far as Vignesh. On to Savage there with the ball. Savage is unable to beat with their Sagar. Savananda, Savananda, unable to get the bet for Kiran Savanan who clears. The ball running loose to Kashwat comes up with the center at the top of the box, but cleared away nicely by Shabir Khan once again. Straight towards Francis. And still Francis pushes it to the unmarked Shakti Sagar. Alvin on the left, but Alvin is unable to get. And there is a penalty there. ASC Center awarded a penalty with Hari Krishnan coming up with a foul there, bringing down. We tie inside the box and the referee pointing to the spot. A penalty in the 94th minute of the game. And let's see who's going to take it. Looks like it's going to be Francis. Yes, the number 15 on your screen over there. The referee. There you see it. The goalkeeper. Manikandan preparing to face that penalty from Francis. There goes the whistle and here comes the penalty and that's a wonderful placement there by Francis as he sends Manikandan the wrong way with a placement to his left. So in the 95th minute it is ASC Football Club 2 
and Ruth Football Club, zero. So, ASC virtually have more than a foot at the door to the semi-finals. Wanting a draw, they are now up by two goals. To remain unbeaten in the three-team league. Savage with a shot at the top of the box, but into the defender there. A long lob chased away there by Sabir Khan, who allows it to go over the line for a throw-in to his own team. The 96th minute of the game. <coughs> Just about a minute of added on time remaining. And another stray rail on the far side there. Somananda chasing it, but uh, Hari Krishnan very much there to avoid danger. And now Kiran Saranan on the far side. Toward Vishal, Vishal towards the Mog. The right finger gives it to Vignesh, pushes it down once again to Amog, comes up with the center into the box over there, but taken care of by Vidya Sagar Singh, who clears it away at the expense of uh, the throwing. The referee having a look at the watch. The whistle could blow any time now. Headed away by the ASC defense. Francis in charge of the proceedings over there at the moment. Robinson Singh. Bill Robinson gives it to Mithai. And now Alvin. Back to Robinson. Mithai again. Forward to Alvin. Alvin with the ball. Pushes it back to Mithai. Takes it again from him, but loses out this time towards the box. And Somananda with the ball there, and the whistle goes for offside against Somananda. We are in the 97th minute of the 98th minute of the game, actually, and the final whistle could be blown any time now. Long lob over there on the far side towards Kashwat, but it. Clear the way. And there goes the long whistle. So the ASC Center, ASC Football Club defeating the Roach Football Club by two goals to nil and entering the semi finals of the Stafford Challenge Cup Football Tournament 2023. They needed a draw. They beat Gokulam 3 2. And now they are beaten Roach Football Club 2 0. Roots and Gokulam drawing 1-1. One, one. So both the teams have one point each. While ASC top the table, top group B with six points to enter the semi-finals of the Stafford Challenge Cup Football Tournament 2023. So at the end of the game, it is ASC Center 2, Roots Football Club 0.
fine bracket okay Here goes the stats of the match for you. In terms of fouls, there is Root 7, ASC 12, yellow cards, Root 1, ASC 2, no red cards on either side, 5 offsides for ASC, 4 for uh, Root 4 for ASC, Root for 2 corners and ASC 7, chances for Root 5 for ASC 8, shots managed, Root 5, ASC 6. So at the end of the match, ASC qualifying for the semi-finals from Group B, defeating Roots Football Club by two goals to nil. Welcome to the Stafford Challenge Cup. Today is day 5 and we just witnessed game 3 between Roots FC and A ASC FC. We're here with Prem today. Hello Prem, how are you? Yes. I'm Jangal. Thank you. So, 